Good evening everyone and welcome to tonight's episode of Ask Leah. Tonight's question came from a leader via email and I'm actually going to read it out to you because it's quite telling about the leader uh, and you'll know why when I read through it. So the situation was this. Hi Leah, last week during a team meeting, I snapped at a colleague who is a subordinate. I didn't say anything nasty by any means, but I cut her off and corrected her in a way that belittled and embarrassed her. And I stopped her from contributing her valuable knowledge for the rest of the meeting. I picked up that the rest of the team were a bit uncomfortable too. After the meeting, I apologized to her directly with no qualifiers which she accepted and the working relationship is wonderful again. The question is this, should I have apologized to her during the meeting uh, rather than waiting until afterwards? And if so, how? Keen to hear your thoughts. So let me start off by saying this, well done you for having the self-awareness and the self-reflection to realize that what you did was not okay. You are so far ahead of the game in the reflection that is even in this email, that you realized you got it wrong, you owned it and apologized. On to the question of whether you should have said something in the meeting. Let me first ask this, did you realize that you'd done the wrong thing in the meeting or not? because sometimes we don't. And it is only afterwards with a bit of reflection in a calm space that we go, crap, I was really a bit out of line there. And then you've gone and apologized to the employee, which absolutely you should have done. If you didn't realize in the meeting, what I would suggest is that you absolutely do what you have done, but I would then take the next step and apologize in front of the team too. Now, it's really key that you don't uh, embarrass or put the employee under the pump when you do this. Some people don't like public declarations, but you've acknowledged yourself, the rest of the team seemed a bit uncomfortable. So it's really important that they understand that you have apologized as well. So without making a big deal, uh, either finding an opportunity to speak to them all, or it might be if it was at a regular team meeting, the next team meeting, just flagging at the start, you know, before we get started today, I want to acknowledge that in the last meeting, the way I spoke to one of uh, my colleagues was inappropriate. And I want you all to know that I have apologized to that person for it. And I will be actively uh regulating my communication to make sure that doesn't happen again. So you don't even need to name the person, but it's just owning it publicly. Now, if during the meeting you did realize, crap, I shouldn't have spoken to them like that. And you know, it's going through your head, bugger, I shouldn't have done that. What I would suggest doing is the opposite to what I have just suggested. So it's flipping it before the meeting ends, actually saying, hey, before we break team, I want to acknowledge the way I addressed such and such earlier, that actually wasn't okay. uh, And I want to apologize for that and own it. Okay, so again, no qualifiers, don't make a big deal. It's not, you know, self flagellation and beating yourself up, but just own it and acknowledge it. And then after the meeting, have that one-on-one conversation with the employee where you do the full apology and make sure that you two are okay. So when the uh, error or mistake, and we all make mistakes, we are all human, happens in front of a group of people uh, and they do feel a bit uncomfortable, it is really important that they know that we've owned it as well. Don't just leave it up to that other person to spread the word that, oh yes, uh, I got an apology. Leadership is owning it, acknowledging it, and then making amends. So really making sure you don't do it again. But as I said right at the start, the fact that you even sent me this question, the fact that you've already done the apology, you're not emailing me saying, how do I handle it? I did this and I don't know what to do. You've apologized to this person, which is awesome. I do though think there's an opportunity to acknowledge the mistake to your team because when you model that behavior, it gives them permission that if they stuff up like that too, 
that they can own it without being crucified in the meeting as well. If you have a communication, leadership, self-management, soft skill, people skill question that you would like answered, just like the person did this week, reach out, ask away, send me an email, contact me through social media, and I will do my best to answer it for you next week. Cheers.